CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss introduction to AVL tree. AVL tree is also called self balanced binary search tree or height balanced binary search tree. And this AVL tree was invented in the year 1962 by two Russian scientists, Adelson Wilski and Landis. So, the first letter of both the scientists' name, in shortly, we will call it as ABF. So that it is called as AVL tree. Definition, AVL tree is nothing but it is a binary search tree in which balance factor of every node is defined as the difference between the height of the nodes left and right subtrees. Is it either 0 or plus 1 or minus 1. So for example, if you are considering what do you mean by binary search tree? So binary search tree is nothing but it is a binary tree with all the elements present in the left subtree is less than the root element and all the elements present in the right subtree is greater than the root element. This is nothing but binary search tree and here if you are checking the balance factor for this node balance factor is number of left subtree minus number of right subtree. That is the height of the left subtree minus height of the right subtree. So here the balance factor is 0 and here also the balance factor is 0 and here Balance factor is number of left subtree is 1, right subtree is 1, 1 minus 1 it is 0. So here if you are considering the balance factor is 0 only for all the nodes. Suppose if I am adding one more node here, okay. Now it is a binary search tree because the left subtree elements are lesser than the root node, okay. Here also the left subtree element is lesser than its root node, okay. So this is a binary search tree. And now if you are checking the balance factor for this node, there is no left and right subtree balance factor is 0. And for this node, number of left subtree is 1 minus right subtree it is 0, 1 minus 0. So here the balance factor is 1. Okay. And here if you are considering number of left subtree is 2, there is a height of the left subtree is 2 minus height of the right subtree is 1. 2 minus 1 it is plus 1. Okay. And here it is 0. No left and right subtree. So it is 0. So now 3 is also balanced binary search tree otherwise called height balanced binary search tree so the difference between the height of the nodes left and right subtree if it is 0 plus 1 or minus 1 in this case the binary search tree is a balanced binary search tree. and here what do you mean by balance factor in the sense it is the difference between the height of the left subtree and the right subtree that is nothing but the balance factor so, balance factor is nothing but height of the left subtree minus height of the right subtree. So, now this binary search tree is an example for balanced binary search tree. And this balanced binary search tree is otherwise called AVL tree. In AVL tree, whenever you are inserting a new node, for example, here we will consider this is 20. So, here I am inserting a new node 15. Okay. So, you have to check the balance factor now. So, balance factor for this node is 1 minus 0. So, it is plus 1 and for this node is 0. Okay. So, it is balanced now. So, whenever you are inserting a new node, you have to check for the balance factor of the ABL tree. If it is balanced in the sense, no problem. In this case, it is balanced. Suppose, if I am inserting one more node here, that is 10. Balance factor for this node is 0 and for this node is it is 1 minus 0, so it is plus 1 now, right? And for this node is 2 minus 0, so it is plus 2 here, okay? So, what do you mean by balance factor? If the difference between the height of the left subtree and the height of the right subtree is 0, plus 1 or minus 1, then the AVL tree is balanced. If the difference is plus 2 or minus 2, in this case it is minus 2, 20, 30, 40. If this is the binary search tree in the sense, here balance factor is 0, here balance factor is number of left subtree is 0, minus 1, here balance factor is minus 1. Here it is balanced. Here if you are checking, number of left subtree is 0, minus number of uh, right subtree is 2. So, you will get it as minus 2. In both the cases, if you are considering, here the root node is unbalanced. Okay. Whenever you are inserting a new node, that time the AVL tree is unbalanced in the sense you need to transform it into a balanced one. Okay. So, if it is a balanced binary search tree, then only it is a AVL tree. Suppose if a new node you are inserting and the tree is unbalanced in the sense you need to convert it into a balanced one. 
that can be done by rotation okay so what do you mean by rotation in the sense it is a local transformation of a subtree rooted at the node whose balance factor become either plus 2 or minus 2 so here balance factor is plus 2 here node is unbalanced here also it is minus 2 here also node is unbalanced so here if you are implementing a right rotation then the tree will be balanced and here if you are implementing a left rotation pointing to the node where it is unbalanced okay if you are implementing a left rotation in this this tree will be balanced one okay whenever you want to convert an unbalanced abl tree into a balanced one you have to implement a rotation this rotation is nothing but it's a local transformation of subtree rooted at a node whose balance factor is either plus 2 or minus 2. Suppose if there are several such nodes, that is several nodes are unbalanced in the sense, we rotate the tree rooted at the unbalanced node, that is closest to the newly inserted leaf node. So until you are getting a balanced one, you have to point to the node where it is unbalanced. Then you have to implement a rotation there. Until you are getting a balanced AVL tree, you have to implement this concept of rotation. So, there are four types of rotations in AVL tree. One is single right rotation. So, this is single right rotation. So, one time if you are implementing a right rotation here in the sense, that is called single right rotation. With that single right rotation, the tree should be balanced. Okay, only once you are implementing a right rotation. That is called R rotation. Next is single left rotation. Only one time you are implementing a left rotation. That is called L rotation, single left rotation. Some other cases, with the single rotation, we cannot able to convert it into a balanced one. In that case, more than one rotation is required. That is, more commonly, two times you have to implement a rotation. Okay, that is double left-right rotation. That is, first time you have to implement a left rotation. Second time you have to implement a right rotation. If you are implementing double rotation here in the sense, three will be balanced. So, this is double left-right rotation or in short, we will call it as LR rotation, okay. And sometimes it is required to implement a rotation towards right first, then we have to implement a left rotation, okay. First is right rotation, second rotation is left rotation, that is double rotation you have to implement. First is right rotation, second is left rotation, that is called double right-left rotation or R L rotation in short we will tell it as. So there are four types of rotations we can implement in AVL tree to convert an unbalanced AVL tree into a balanced one. One is single right rotation or R rotation, single left rotation or L rotation, double left right rotation or L R rotation, double right left rotation or R L rotation. All these four types of rotations in AVL tree we will discuss in detail with example. Thank you for watching this video.